Font sizes are a crucial aspect of responsive design. Unfortunately, traditional CSS units such as pixels, they do not scale across all devices. A better approach is to use REM, which is relative to the root font that is utilized on the website. Now our problem exists. Now, if we shrink this to a mobile device, the font does not decrease with respect to the width. So how do we account for something like it? We can also utilize a font size of the view width. However, on very small screens, you can see that the heading now is no longer viewable. So what can we use to give a minimum, a preferred, and a maximum? Well, that's going to be the clamp. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So with the clamp function, it takes a minimum value, the preferred value, and then we also have the maximum allowed value. So it's not going to grow or shrink below a certain level. So with this applied, I can now grow and shrink this and notice that the H1 is not getting any smaller than our minimum value defined. And as we grow it, it's not getting any bigger than the maximum value that we applied. However, it is utilizing the 6VW. Now there is a problem with this and we're going to fix it here with one more step. So the problem is when we're trying to zoom in on the page, notice that the H1 is not increasing in size, just the paragraph tag underneath. So we have to have a way to fix for this as well. You will have to play around with these values, but we can take advantage of the calc function here. And now when we zoom in, zoom out, you'll notice that the H1 is now growing and shrinking. If you enjoyed this CSS trick, make sure that you subscribe.